All right. Hey, welcome to uh, kind of a field trip that we're going to be doing while we're out here. We're at my dad's place today, and you can see that he's building a new ditch. So the very first thing that needed to happen to try and get past this down here a little bit, you can see that they had to come in with a laser leveler. They built kind of a road going down that other area. That was to build a nice firm base to be able to start digging from. Now we got this cool digging machine coming in and it is going through this hard clay soil really really nice and we're able to connect it into what's going to be a cement ditch coming down. So as this is digging through it's pulling out lots and lots of soil and kicking out to the side we'll have to come back through and smooth that out a little bit later. You see a lot of different crafters in here cutting it out. We get the final shape that we need. Now over here on the side you can see that we've got a string that's tied in. I'll kind of show you how that works in a second. This is what helps keep the drain on the ditch what it needs to be. So as it goes from the top down to the bottom that we don't get too much drop and that things go at a level so that we're able to carry this water for a long distance. So as we get back on this side of the machine, you're going to be able to see that there is a sensor right here. That sensor helps them to be able to keep it at the right height. That string goes all the way down at the level that they want. And here at the front of the machine, we've got a plumb bob. And that's able to let it know that it's going in a straight line. So once this is all dug out, we'll come back in, clean it out just a little bit where it connects. And then we've got a sled right here that they'll take put that down in there and then they will pull this sled down the ditch they'll fill the top of it with cement and we'll get a really nice ditch coming out of it in here so hopefully this is kind of a fun side of agriculture maybe you haven't seen how they build the ditches but we're able to see the process these types of ditches in Delta are a really big deal. Uh, hopefully we'll have the next video of them actually doing the cement pouring. Alright, so we're into the point now where they've dug the entire lane and they're starting to lay the cement down. So we have what's right here. The first cement truck has come and already dropped their stuff in. We've got the second truck that just pulled in and is going to start being able to start pouring it in. Okay, filling up the hopper. that they've got a nice full enough to be able to have it and here it's giving the go sign we've got a cable and they've hooked it up here to this bulldozer down there with that cable and it's just pulling it forward as it pulls forward it's going right down through the channel that they made before continue to add the concrete We're smoothing it out as they can. Right here you can see that there wasn't quite enough up at the top. We're so coming back in and adding a little bit right on the edge. So right down here, they have the 
put expansion joints in. We can come more parts that have already been before. You see that we have the expansion joints that are put in there to allow for the heating and freezing of the cement to keep it from doing it. So I'm not quite sure. Estimating about five trucks to be able to fill this all in. Over here, putting an expansion joint right now. I'm just fixing as they go. Unlike a lot of the other ditches that we've put in, this one's not going to have any head gates put in. It's just going to go to a single field. All the rest of them have already been put in the past, and this will be the last ditch that has to have any cement put in. A lot of times you kind of see a head gate over here. That's what they'll go in. They'll have dug that out with a backhoe, and then they'll come in later with the cement and head gate and be able to put it in. asking about the cable. Pulling it down. I don't know if anyone who's watching has any questions. If you do, I'll try and answer them or I can ask these experts here what to do. Now that they've got that hopper full, got smoother edge coming down here on the end. Here we're coming up fixing just where it wasn't quite full enough when they started, but by the time they get done, it's going to look as if the machine did it. Put our hand prints in. So, for those of you that are watching not from around Utah, these cement ditches are a pretty standard way of being able to do it. They're able to take this water over relatively flat terrain, miles and miles, and has a series of canals and water that distributes it out. The different farmers have shares of water. They're stored in reservoirs. Our water comes beyond those mountains through a series of rivers and streams and kept in reservoirs. And, well, I don't think there's a whole lot more, so I'll just let it go for another minute or so. And then we'll turn it off.